Hey everybody, this is Joby, and uh, today I want to show everybody uh, a semi fix for the left trigger dismount problem blocking. I don't know, but I did figure out an alternative way to dismount that maybe some other people know. I'm not really sure. I was in Cyrodiil with my friends, and I was riding, and of course I'm pulling left trigger and nothing's happening. And so what I did is I just hit stealth, and then you automatically get off your horse, and you're in stealth. Which is great if you're in Cyrodiil, because you can just dismount and you'll go right into stealth. Now maybe that was doing it before, maybe it's nothing new, I don't know. But, you know, if you're not in Cyrodiil and you don't really want to be in stealth, you can still hit stealth and then just hit it again right away and you'll come, you'll come up. So if you do it twice, like this, here, see I'm riding fast, and then I just hit it twice and I'm good. So that's just as good. Just have to get used to it. Because I was so used to the locking. But now I just do this. Riding. If I'm in Cyrodiil or I want to stealth out, I just hit it. And I'll right away go down into the snow. And of course I have to get this platinum. Okay, so I got that. And let's try again. Get on the horse. I'm riding really fast. I don't want to stealth out. So I did hit it twice. There you go. That's it. If you want to stealth out, if you're in Cyrodiil and you're riding up to a keep and they go stealth out, then you just hit it once and you're stealthed. That's actually, in some ways it's better because, you know, it used to be you hit block and you're going to block and then they'll be able to see you. Whereas if you just stealth out, then that would be better and then doing it twice is really no big deal if you're if you don't want to be in stealth so I think that's really great now another thing I want to show everybody I did make a video about this before but I was running out of the medic Rizula, which is basically the columbine of poisons you mix that with everything and I needed some more and I only have one uh, alchemy survey so I went ahead and I went to uh, Imperial City and I bought some of those waxed apothecary bags and I want to show everybody how to do that so first I'm gonna get out my banker how can I help and I'm going to withdraw currency I have 34,748 Telvar stones I'll just take them all out and then I will go into campaigns and this is so easy to get in there Imperial City look at that totally empty but it's okay I'll go into CP I'll go into ah I'll just go into no CP there's nobody in there so I should get in really fast I think Imperial City is dying seems a bit dead here we go I'll see you in there okay so I've landed in Imperial City and the place that we want to go is down this road and all the way over here. So what I usually do is to make sure I'm going the right way is I put a marker right there. Look around for my marker, which will be here. I'm just gonna head down this road. Head here. And then when you get here, you'll have to go again this way around the corner to here. This is our ultimate destination for this task. And here he is. Maybe it's she. Tumbam cars. Hello. Never thought I'd see the white Can't gold really tower. Or a and we go down to waxed apothecary parcel. Okay, and you just buy those. Now I'm just gonna buy two. I think I can only buy two. Our player capacity. Yeah, <laughs> I'm filled up. To this morning I bought 30. Okay, so I'll go in here, inventory, slotable items, and look at all that stuff you get. Mountain flower, columbine, it's great. Here, Nern root, butterfly wing, fleshly larva. You know, sometimes you get really great ones, sometimes you get just okay, but they're only 500. Telvar for one of them. And if you don't like to um, 
gather stuff. This is a great way to to get it. You can see like uh, this morning. Okay, like I only had 26 columbine and now I have 113. And Medic Rizula still pretty low because see it's Ravage Health, Magicka, and Stamina. So for poisons, you know, you're mixing that with if you're just like a health poison, you're doing a Medic Rizula and Nightshade. There's, you know, and if you if you're doing Magicka, it's Blue into Mola, into Loma, and a Medic Rizula. So you need a Medic Rizula like crazy. So I'll just buy two more. Let's see what's up. Let's see if I can get some more. I said I would. Oh, see, it's not gonna let me. Just do two. Okay, so we go into inventory. Sorry, slotable items. They'll be up here. They don't stack. So when you buy them, you have to uh, make sure you have inventory space on your character. Like I said, I bought 30 this morning, and I just wanted to show everybody uh, this is a great way. You know, just come in here and run around and. Uh, kill some bosses down in the sewers. You can go above in the city too. There's nobody in here right now, so it's probably pretty easy just to run around and get some Telvar stones. I have a bunch. I usually save the Telvar either. Another thing you can buy, I forgot to show you guys. Must be me. I showed I showed everybody last time is um, the Hockey Ajos, and the Hockey Ajos are five thousand. You know that's what you need for the Tristat runes. On my Dragon Knight, I have every glyph is tri-stat. So when I go into Cyrodiil, I'll have lots of stats. So you need a lot of those. And this is a great way to get them. If you don't buy them here, those probably cost 14000 the Hockey Ajos. You can sell them too. You can come here and buy them. Buy the Hockey Ajos and sell them in the Trader if you want to. I just use them. I don't sell any of my gold gold uh, mats because I always do writs and stuff like that. It's like very important. So anyway, you'll appear here about right here, you know, like in this area. And you're going to want to come to this trader and then go to the bear skin and then come all the way down to this little room right here. And this, this person also sells... Um, I was raised those crazy rune boxes like if you look at this the Ziven Augur Ziven Dreadguard and Ziven Tormentor and those look really cool they're like uh, polymorphs so you have this total skin you know that looks like a all three of them the Zivens are uh, or Zivkins they are wearing the the skin they're the those dead people from Cold Harbor. What is the name of that skin? I have it. Collections. Appearance. Let's go all the way down to polymorphs. Sorry, it's not a polymorph. It is a skin. They are the soul shriven. That's it. So all those people of, if you buy that room box and you open the polymorph, they're all soul shriven. And they're wearing some really cool chunky armor. There's three different styles of it looks great can't do a preview so I can't show you but you know 250 we must be making. thousand <laughs> Telvar stones for that so because everything that this person sells is uh, Telvar with Telvar you can see there's a lot of stuff this is some kind of um, Usually contains a piece of equipment and occasionally a Zivin polymorph collectible. Which I will say doubtful. Oh wow. I didn't even know you can buy these chests with the um, Telvar. It's pretty good. That's a lot of Telvar though. And platinum and the two different uh, the two different style mats. And these are when you have 20 of the Cerdal, uh Merits, you can use this to make a Siege Master Closed Helm. And this will be the Siege Master's uniform. Sigil of Imperial Retreat is the same thing as the Keep Recall Stone. If you have one of those, if you have one of these Sigil of Imperial Retreats and you're out in the city somewhere, once you use it, you will port back to the base. 
So like if you have a lot, like if I went out there right now, if I went out into the city hunting around with all this Telvar, I would have this big light above my head because I have a four time multiplier and anybody that sees me, I'm fresh meat. They will just be looking to attack me. But don't worry, I'm not going out there with all this Telvar on there, no way. So that's really about it today. I just wanted to show everybody my fix for the left trigger being broken. Um, you know, I always, if I can find out something, I always want to um, help people. Most of the time when there's a problem like that, I just obsess on it until I can figure out what, what to do. Even if it's not that big of a deal, it just bugs me. So I, um, I try to fix it and share with everybody. If you already knew that, that's great. I'm very happy that you knew that already. It's just I recently figured it out. Uh, I was in Cerdo and I just happened to press it and then I was in stealth and I thought, oh, that's pretty good. I'll share with everybody on the channel. And I also wanted to redo the video for the apothecary, waxed apothecary bags because I think it's really something that's very convenient. I hate to gather now. I just, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of a waste of time for me. So I just don't, I don't do it. I use surveys or I come here for the reagents and then I can get a lot. Today I just made a bunch of potions, like 400 spell power potions, and I carry a bunch of those on me, Essence of Spell Power, because it, they're amazing, they up your damage, and since for me it's, I have all of the passives for alchemy, so 47.6 seconds is the uptime, and the cooldown is 45 seconds so I can just keep these running all the time they're up constantly so these are really important for me lots of different potions you can use and uh, you need the reagents of course I also did unhallowed grave I did ice reach no problem I even did it today but I tried to do unhallowed grave with my friend Joker like three times and every time I don't know what's going on but it seems to be broken the kiln when you go into the place called the kiln and you have to grapple up to those little alcoves in the top there's an archer up there and you kill the archer and you try to press the runes on the floor the sigils on the floor and it's not like you can press it but your hand keeps coming back and then when you finally do press it the tank can't get the kiln master in the bottom to slam her sword into the ground to stop the fire and then everybody dies so if you're experiencing that bug leave a comment let us know about it i don't know what's going on it's super irritating maybe i just am doing it wrong i'm not really sure but i will definitely do some research and let everybody know so give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoy the content and please leave a comment in the comment section about anything really if you want to talk or if you want to Mention how do you feel about the videos or if there's something that you'd like to see. If you're having any kind of problems in the game, let me know and I'll try to help you and I can make a video or if I can just answer your question, I will. Hit me up on Xbox, North American server. My name is Coyote, C-H-A-O-T-E-Y. Let's run around. Let's have some fun. So until that time, let's get paid.